All right, I'm going to show you a simple trick here. This is for when you have uh, to use time stretch, but you have already set a number of keyframes, and you'll notice what happens when you time stretch. Um, say I take this and I stretch it down to 25, you'll notice that the keyframes down here also switch. So here is how you do a time stretch, but then maintain the keyframes. What you want to first do is hold Command Option Shift, press Y, to create a null object. I'm going to make it 3D, um, just because everything else is 3D. And now you want to apply a the same. If if there's an effect, for example, in this case, or whatever you have, make sure that this null object also has the same things that have keyframes on them as your first layer. So here I have mesh warp effect. So I'll just come up here to effect, apply a mesh warp to it. So now I have the mesh warp effect, and it's the distortion mesh that needs the keyframes. And then by holding shift and pressing P and R, I'll also get my position and my rotation that I need to apply the keyframes. So all you do is take the first keyframes from the distortion mesh, for example, paste them there. Then you take the keyframes from your position. Make sure that your little cursor is lined up on the first keyframe. So go to the position on the null object, paste. And now go to Z rotation. Copy those keyframes or wherever you have keyframes. Put them there. Now you can delete all these keyframes. Actually, go back to the beginning and delete the keyframes from there. I think that makes it kind of neutral. So now, uh, now do your time stretch. In my, my situation, I'm going to be stretching it to 30. Um, actually, going to make that more like 35. Now, all you have to do is just go back up to your null object, take the keyframes, and apply them back the way I applied them to the null object onto your original layer. And now you can just delete the null object. And there you go. That should uh, do the trick for what you're looking for. Exactly. All right, peace.